again, I'm Ryan with Inglewood Instruments. Tonight, again, because we're doing a bit of a nightly series right now, I'm trying to deconstruct what improv could be for you. Uh, for a lot of people who play these instruments and similar instruments, mountain dulcimers or even getting into like mandolins, ukuleles, guitars, all those things, improv is this very amorphous concept. Understandable because some people think of it as being rather um, free-flowing, I just do what I want. And some people think of it as like, I do a lot of a specific thing and eventually I can kind of control what I'm doing when I improv. I can learn a bunch of solos and then I can make my own solo up out of it. Those are kind of two different ends of the spectrum. Let it fly versus put in a lot of information and get something out the other end but there's no wrong or right way to do it. I would love to know your input on how you would like to approach improv and, and maybe it'll give me some thoughts on what I could do for upcoming videos because frankly, I'm just, I'm just winging it here, folks. I'm not, I'm not like a music teacher by trade, even if I play one on TV. So today, what I was gonna do is um, completely steal an idea from Steven Seaford. He's got some, um, some amazing, amazing, mountain dulcimer specific uh, education resources both on his regular YouTube channel as well as over on mountain dulcimer A to Z where he does like full lessons. He also does a few in-person events still. He used to do that all the time then the pandemic hit and now he kind of does them ad hoc. He is amazing. If you, if you play mountain dulcimer, if you think about playing mountain dulcimer and you don't know about Stephen Seifert, go learn about him. And one of the things that I'm stealing from him for today is the idea of using two fingers at the same time i.e. putting down two, two strings at the same time. Notice how I did that. And the idea here is that while you would normally play on the top string, you do like... or whatever it is you're doing. If you're trying to play around with ideas, give yourself something new to experiment with, try putting two fingers down and move those at the same time and all the time. Now you can, I'm not, I'm just picking these two because they're the ones that are kind of like comfortable for me, but you could do these two right here. And you could bunch them up like this. It doesn't really matter as long as you're holding down these two strings. And the point is that you move them always in, in the same motion, unison together, but you're gonna get these different um, tonalities to the, the way that you're playing. See, that's not, that's not really a note structure that we typically play when we're doing pop songs and whatnot. I mean, there's that one. It's got a very suspended feel to it. Same with that one, right? So if we just go... Ooh. I uh, missed the opportunity to say that I'm currently playing a... Um, a Woodrow old timer. My buddy Dan Williams out in Asheville, North Carolina makes these. I actually bought this one in 2012 on my honeymoon and that's how I even found out such ex uh, instruments exist. I didn't know they existed before. Dul dulcimers of any kind. This was my first uh, entry point, so thank you, Dan. Um, if you're looking for a quality instrument, uh, other than one of mine. You should go over to his store. He's got some great stuff. If you're downtown Asheville, go there, but he's also online. So check him out. And this old timer, one thing I'll say about it that's pretty awesome is that it sounds a little bit more like a banjo, the way it's constructed, and it's got a lot of volume in it. So I probably just distorted the mic. Anyway, that has nothing to do with anything. We're gonna go back to what we're here to do, which is learn about improv. Now, I have done a lot on sliding before. But today we're just talking about how to move these two together and just see if that gives you a new idea. I'm just gonna play around. There's really not much to say about this video other than here or you can move it over to these two. So it doesn't matter which set of two you're doing, but just move that around. So I'm just gonna noodle, give you some ideas. You can take it from there.
Hey, real quick, I know you're in the middle of watching this video about how to do improv stuff. I forgot something. I forgot to add into these videos practical application steps. This, this one you're watching is very good in theory and an idea of, but I think you're gonna need exercises and kind of to-dos and maybe some challenges. I've made another set of videos for that also just free. Go watch those when you're done with this one so that you can kind of get some more practical, like here's what you do to learn this tactic so that you can add it to your portfolio of things to do for a song or for just improv ideas. Okay, get back to it. You may have seen in there where I was hitting this one. And I just went ahead and I spread my finger back a little bit. That was that was kind of jarring my nerves a little bit. I don't mind a little bit of a, a dissonant sound sometimes, but man, it did not fit in with what I was doing there. So we could try something else here. I'm out of ideas. I feel like you've just peered into me noodling around way too much at this point. I did get way too far in this video though without saying over on the website there are some free resources, cheat sheets for your record guides, some downloads, some tabs, things that are paid for, things that are free. Would love you to look at those. Also, subscribe to the channel. Check out all the other videos. Would love to have you back for more. Thanks so much. I'm Ryan with Inglewood Instruments.